This same shirt that was on that same tag but was black, never been washed, had the original tag, you'd be able to just take it and just tear it. Because it's like something about that black dye on these 90 shirts and stuff. If you never washed it, especially if it wasn't stored like perfectly, which they never were, uh, they just turn to dry run. You just tear them. So when you see that it's white, it's like, ah, oh, it's such a relief because you know, you don't even have to like smell it or pull on it. You know that it ain't going to be dry run. <laughs> People are overlooking the prison too because no one's really talking about them. There's not really that many out there. You can search them, like even just like Google image them, you won't find like a prison tea other than like Alcatraz ones that you can buy as like in the public. But uh, I've come across a few at like yard sales or like a thrift store somehow. Like I don't know where these, like some of them like way outside of the area of the prison. So it's interesting how they even popped up there. But um, Anyway, like for instance, this one right here, this is a prison up in, uh, I believe it's Wisconsin. Allegedly, Ed Gein was here. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer maybe did some mental testing here. That's where they'll kind of evaluate you and try to figure out where you're going to go. But it's uh, one of the oldest prisons in the United States. I think it was like 1850s is maybe when it was established, which is insane. Anyway, this specific one, judging by the tags, like later 80s, 87, 86, 88, somewhere in there. And, uh, yeah, I don't think you could go get this at a gift shop because this is like a prison where just prisoners go. It's not like people don't give tours there. It's not like a site to go see, other than the fact that it's kind of historical, just the building itself. But, uh, yeah, so this more than likely came off of a, a worker there that got this shirt. Maybe they passed some shirts around, and uh, so the, the, the employee got it, and then it ended up in the thrift store, which is where I got it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you had to get these. Uh, hey, did you see this little VHS rewinder I got? They go faster than the, uh, your VCR. So you just put it in there and start rewinding it. Yeah, they're like super turbo quick. Whereas, uh, your VCR is just kind of fast. I'm telling you, that, that weighs only a certain speed, and this goes way faster than that. So it's probably like maybe twice as fast as a VCR can do it, so it gets the job done. So if you're like, you know, back in the day, if you're having to go return it to Blockbuster, it's like, oh crap, we got to rewind it. You stick it in there real quick. Zip it and rewind. Um, but yeah, I got another one I want to talk about that I got uh, pretty recently. That uh, This was actually found like in a storage locker. They were having a yard sale out of it. And I walked in there, there was some kind of cool stuff, but this is in there, and it was like 50 cents for a shirt, and uh, yeah, I saw it, well instantly you're like, oh, that's a Hard Rock Cafe shirt or whatever, because they're playing on that. But it says Hard Time Cafe, and it's got this, uh, the front of this Leavenworth prison, um, what is this? It's some like, kind of an older prison up in, I think Missouri, no, Kansas, I'm sorry, it says it right there, Leavenworth, Kansas. And then on the back it says, uh, you must be indicted to be invited, which I thought was kind of cool. But what I really thought was even cooler, which you might already notice, are these stains here. And if you had to guess, what would you say these probably are? I mean, just kind of best guess. I think they're blood, personally. I mean, I've, when I was a kid, I bled on my clothes all the time. You know, when it dries up, it looks just like, you see the tint of red in there, it's like rust. There's blood stains all over this. So this is probably a, a employees. My guess is there was like a fight that broke out, and they maybe had to jump in to help kind of get that like separated and maybe got blood from like a prisoner or something on them. That's my best guess. Cause they got in close contact with the bloody prisoner and got the blood on there. And then probably just threw it in their closet or whatever forever and then it popped up. So that's uh, the story behind that one. Which is, once again, this one was found like, I mean it was found in Alabama and it's of course a prison in Kansas. So somehow it ended up over here. Yeah, this one, this one nobody's seen, but we're not showing the tag on this cause I don't want people to rip it off. But I'll pull it out. You know, the backstory goes, I got this from the guy who had all the uh, John Wayne Gacy shirts. Or not, he had a few shirts. But art and like different stuff like that. But he had uh, had this shirt for sale. Which is, uh, this is an actual shirt that was sold outside of the prison where John Gacy was, uh, where he was executed. 
So this is, uh, there's not, you can't find these out there. There was maybe, I don't know, there was a hundred or so people, if that, that were at the execution, because there was a news article about it. You can see these shirts actually like being waved around by people or worn by people. In my opinion, he got an easier death than he deserved. But there maybe was a hundred people there and I would say not even half of them bought a shirt. So there might be like 50 of these out there. But I don't even think there's that. And of course you gotta factor in like people just losing them, throwing them away or whatever. Ones that survive, there's probably just a few. Not any out there. Um, but I got this one, he was there actually. So he bought two, one for him, one for his friend. And uh, I guess during COVID he got, you know, people getting a little more tight spots. So he's having to part ways of stuff. And he put that one for sale and we ended up connecting and like he, we had talked a lot just kind of outside all of that and like that's how i learned about his collections and stuff but he had this shirt for sale and uh i couldn't i mean i had to get it i had to get it it's insane so it says no tears for the clown and it's got his like exact time and date that he uh left this world but uh yeah that one's super special so this one's crazy this is like this would be considered also kind of a prison deal sold outside the prison had directly to do with the prison and uh yeah and i was weird about showing the tag i was telling you earlier because uh this one hadn't been out there so i want people to know it's the exact tag it was printed on because then they can fake it and make it look even more legit which i'm sure it'll eventually get found out but uh just trying to keep that at bay as much as i could i did not do a good job of that <laughs> I mean, there's like, I, there, there's different kinds of prison deeds. There's some that are like for touristy places like uh, Eastern State Penitentiary, which you can do tours of. It's like one of the oldest prisons in the U.S. So you can pick up shirts there at the uh, gift shop. So those are out there. You'll see those out there. And then there's like Alcatraz. Like I've been there before. You can go get t-shirts there. So those are ones that are like available to the public. But the t-shirts that I'm specifically into, the prison tees that I like are these... Uh, off the markets these are like the underground you kind of got to know somebody to get them kind of deal and i don't think anybody's looking for these and they're not really out there and uh so it's just i don't think people know they're out there so this will probably break that a little bit because i'm showing a few of mine off and i got another one i want to show you in a little bit um yeah a lot of these have never been seen out there people don't really know much about it so maybe this will help get it generated i don't know i feel like it is a potential hype because to me it's got the rarity factor it's got the very interesting edgy vibe about it because people wear like band tees that are like edgy like nine inch nails like nirvana it's like they're trying to get the edge it's like we can't get more edgy than like a prison tee it's pretty edgy you wear that to a concert it's all right the guy's maybe done time i don't know but he's here to rock out and that's uh, kind of a cool look yeah as you can see you can kind of like see the inner components of it and uh that was so you couldn't hide contraband like they could couldn't pry it open and shove some like crack in there like a knife so they'd make it clear so when the guards come to a cell check they can just easily look in the tv and be like okay that's cleared you know uh which i thought super cool and apparently because they bought them in the prison they were able to take them out if they wanted to so a lot of people just leave them to the next inmate like i don't want i'm done with my prison stay fuck that whole life you can have it dude that's Good for you, but some people like this guy or girl took theirs home and it ended up at a thrift store. But yeah, it's called the Secure View, which is funny. It's made by RCA, but uh, yeah, it works, functions fully. It's great for playing old games on. I do have two. This one I got more recently, which uh, was also at a thrift store, and it's just clear on the back of it. So the front, for some reason, I don't know why, they don't make that clear, which I guess it doesn't matter, they can still look through it. And if you can see on the top here, the, the prisoner who, that was his prison number, he carved his number in there so people know that was his. Stay.